Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up launch icons for your figures and characters directly on the toolbar in Das Studio. This is a question that Gray has asked me recently. Hello, Gray. I hope this helps. He says, hey, I've seen creators who have that. They just have an icon on the toolbar. They click on it and then a figure loads. How do they do that? How's that possible? And I can tell you how that works. It is a process that works in two steps. First, we need to set up something on our menu here. I don't even have it right now in the scripts menu that will launch that figure from a menu icon and then we can turn that into an icon on the toolbar. It's a little bit of a convoluted process but bear with me. I'm not going to show you this in my regular interface. I'm going to show you this in City Limits Lite. If you want to follow along head over to Window workspace, select layout, and then pick city limits light from up here. If you currently have any changes that have been made to your interface, I strongly recommend that you save them out. And uh, that lets you go back to whatever you've just done so that your interface comes back the way you like it. If you don't do that, changes might be irreparably lost. So please save your, save your workspace before selecting this. So I'm gonna go and select city limits light and that will look pretty much like this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I will go and find my Genesis 8 base figure in Smart Content. You can also find it on the content library or any custom character that you'd like to map. I'll just use the base figure for demonstration here. So I'll go into here and find the icon that I need. So in my case, it's going to be a Genesis 8 basic male figure. If I double click it, it would load the figure. What I'd like to do is right click on it and then choose create a custom action from this. And that will now bring up another little dialog box that will say, hey, what you want to do in the root menu, we'll put scripts here. There's scripts and favorites, use scripts. Then under the sub menu, you can either use figures or you can uh, leave it blank at the default and just hit accept. And what that'll do is it'll bring up another little just confirmation message that says, hey, we've created a custom action for you, namely under the scripts menu. So mine wasn't even there, but now it is and I have something that's called scripts and figures. I could rename it if I wanted to during the creation process. And if I click this, then that would launch my Genesis a basic male figure, which is awesome. But that's not quite an icon. That's just a menu entry here. So in order to put that on my toolbar here, we need to understand a little bit how Das Studio thinks about toolbars and icons and toolbars. And it's a little bit convoluted, but bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to explain this so that it makes sense to you. So if we head over under Window Workspace Customize or press the F3 key, then we'll get presented with another interesting menu, which is or another interesting window, which is this. And we have actions on the left hand side. We have some other bits and pieces on the right hand side. So under activities, under advanced, you'll find the toolbars. And we can currently see that City Limits Lite comes, in fact, with two toolbars, the main toolbar and the tools toolbar, one of which is disabled. So tools is something that isn't shown at the moment. All we see is literally this one toolbar at the top and it has a few gaps in there. And that is the main toolbar. It contains things like, you know, file new, file save as and so forth. And in order to understand how Das Studio thinks about it, we need to have a toolbar that's enabled, which is main. That's perfect. And then we can go to the actual toolbar and go and configure it. So we don't want to do anything in tools here. We want to do something in main. So uh, not main as in main, main, it's in main as in the toolbar main. So if you open that, you can see some kind of a cryptic entry for basically everything that we see on the toolbar here. So this is the file new. Then we have a little separator, which is this little line in between. That's this one here. Then we have this and open thing, which is this thing here, which means file open and so forth. You have all these types of things. If there's something that you don't want to see, you can take it out, like maybe a line or keyboard navigation or whatever. Anything that you find is double or something that you're not using. If you want to get rid of it, you can just go and click on it, uh, right click and then say remove item. And that'll just get rid of that. And just like that, we can also rearrange icons by left clicking and dragging. That doesn't always work uh, because it's a bit temperamental. So careful with that. But what we can also do is we can add our own icons to the toolbar in the same fashion. And that 
that happens on the left hand side here. This is essentially a collection of every action that's available inside Dash Studio. And the art is kind of finding out where that is. So if I wanted to have something along the lines of animate, I would probably look into here, open that and see uh, if there's anything that I'd like to turn into an icon, like maybe next frame or the previous frame or start stop or something. Ours that we want to do the figure launch is now effectively in custom. So that's those are all custom actions. And thankfully, our thing was a custom action. So I can open that up and see what's happening in here. So there's all kinds of things like, you know, Blender to uh, Dash to Blender bridge and all that. Uh, this is my stream safe texture here that has a very large icon. And then at the bottom here, we see this thing that I've just added here, which is the Genesis 8 male figure here. So um, you can hover over that to see what that is and pick a selection, pick a spot on your toolbar where you'd like for that to happen. So maybe I'll put mine next to the render icon here. The render icon is on the right hand side. That's this one here. And I'm expecting my figure launch icon to appear here. So in order to make that happen, I'm going to go and take my custom action and left click and drag that over here until it pops into place. I'm just going to put that right on top of render and then it'll just go uh, populate itself underneath that. Here it is. And you can do that for as many figures as you like. The moment you hit accept, it'll kind of think about it for a second, shuffle the interface around a little bit, and also kind of collapse the icons a little bit, makes it much less, um, what's the word, cluttered here. And there I have my icon that will launch my figure. So if I select, if I single click that, it'll go and initiate the loading process and that's that's that. So it's a two part process here. You have to go and um, create a custom action first. And once you've done that, that's in the scripts menu, depends on whatever sub menu that is, you have a launchable custom action, and then you can go and take that and put it onto any of the toolbars that you like. If you'd like to find out more about how I've made my own interface, I'll put a link in the description that'll tell you more about it. It's it's basically based on City Limits Lite, but it has many of the panes removed and I've enabled the tools toolbar and I've actually disabled the main toolbar because it has icons that I don't really use. Thank you so much for watching, Gray. I hope this was helpful. I hope everyone else benefited from this as well. If you like this video, then please consider sharing it with friends, family and total strangers and also consider making a donation through Patreon, Ko-fi, YouTube, Twitch, or any of the other portals that I mentioned below in the description. You can go shopping via my Amazon links. You can buy your DAS content via my affiliate link that gives me a little cut and pays the bills, which is awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.